y'all what's up everybody once again it's brand man sean and today we're going to talk about a cheap way to use youtube to build your fan base now this is one of five cheap growth strategies i listed in my guide that free guide is in the description below i'll also put it in the top comment so check that out after the video if you're interested and a great thing about this video right here is a lot of you guys have been looking for a system to use marketing wise because everybody needs a system but you haven't had one. This video will show you a system for growing a fan base and if you can't use this particular one, you at least understand what that looks like. Here's the things that you gotta do to use this strategy. One, you have to upload a content mix. This requires two types of content at minimum, but three would be even better. Those two types of content are your original music, that could be a music video, or just a audio track uploaded to YouTube. And then there's cover songs. Now I know a lot of you guys are familiar with using cover music on YouTube. Some people have tried it and haven't had much success, but a lot of it comes from not completely understanding. So listen to this entire video so you can really get an understanding how best to use cover music. And also to actually make sure you maximize this, you have to upload your cover music, your remixes, or your freestyles, one or the other, in the right way. So watch the video that I did on how to properly do that, and I'll also provide that in the link description below. The third type of content you can do is really just regular vlog type videos where you're engaging your audience in different ways or just giving them peers and peeks into your lifestyle. There's plenty of YouTubers out there that you know are just succeeding as just YouTubers, no music as all, at all. Figure out what you might be able to do in that type of category to give fans additional ways to connect with you. The second thing you need to do is manage your proportions. Now what I mean by that is you have those two or three types of content that you're dropping. You want your original music to be a decent portion of that and your original videos to be a decent portion of that if you're doing vlog type videos. Covers can be some but not all of your post. There's some people who use a cover type strategy or a remix type strategy but that's all they're doing. And then there's some people who rarely ever do covers or any kind of remixes or freestyles you want to create some form of regular schedule, even if you're not dropping this music regularly. It doesn't necessarily matter what your proportion is as long as you stay consistent over the long term, but just for those of you who might ask, if you do at least one cover song or one freestyle every four videos you drop, that could be pretty good for you. But on the other end, if you aren't able to record quality original music, you might wanna flip that and drop only one original song every four videos. You have to figure out what works best for you, but if you can do this at least weekly, then that should be a nice pace to work with. If you wanna slow that down and do four videos every month, just realize you'll be taking more time to get out more content and you're working at a slower pace, so expect success or certain numbers to come at a slower pace. Now the third thing you gotta do is links in promo. It's the equivalent of letting people know where your other music is. In this video right here, I can have text pop up that says follow Brand Man Sean on SoundCloud or follow Brand Man Sean on Spotify or Apple Music. And then I can also have that in my description links. I can also have that in my top comment link. Now, if you don't know what I mean by top comment, if you look at the comment section of this video, you'll notice that my comment is at the top because I pinned it to the top. And now, any links that I want people to see, people will always see my comment first. Be sure to do this with relevant links for your videos. Now, it's extremely important that these links lead to places where it's only your original content. If you haven't realized it yet, we've been walking through pieces of the system. The reason a lot of people fail when it comes to covers is they're thinking about it directly as creating fans as opposed to realizing that covers are marketing. So now when I talked about that marketing funnel, remember we've talked about this in videos before, watch my video on that if you haven't. This is how the system would play out. The top of the marketing funnel always has the most people. Your covers, because they'll get views and organically, are usually going to be the first thing people see. That's just them becoming aware of you initially. The next step in the consideration phase, that means they saw whatever cover video that they saw of you, and now they're saying, let me look at this other cover video, or maybe they run into your original content. That's what's happening in the consideration phase because they're discovering more of you. Next is conversion. This is when they're really saying, yo, this person's original content is awesome. And if you did the third type of content, this is the more YouTuber, maybe blog type content, 
they're discovering maybe some of this in the consideration phase as well. But once they get down to the conversion phase, they really like your original music and they really like your other videos that is just you and your personality, not necessarily the covers. So now at this point, you have people who are discovering you on your YouTube page and then some of your subscribers are probably casual fans and real fans. You don't know what that number percentage is, but with the links, the people who follow you because they see your link in your YouTube video or they see it in your description or your top comments and follow you on other platforms where it's only your original music, you now know that the people who went there through that route really love you for you. These are some of your true fans. And that is a system. And the way these systems work is now, once everything is in place, all you have to do is stay consistent with it. And on top of that, give it more and more exposure. Because now after you have, let's say 100 videos of this combination, if video number 101 all of a sudden goes viral, all the new people that come in will go to the top of the funnel and be able to follow that exact same route. And now for those of you who get all discouraged, like, yo, my original music doesn't get anywhere near as many views as the covers, that's how it's supposed to be. It's the top of the funnel. That's people discovering you in the first place. Naturally, less people are going to even find out about your original music at first. But if you stay consistent with this system, you're gonna have more casual fans and more real fans. And you'll have more people who aren't fans at all, but at least have been exposed to you. Everybody has this. There's an artist out there that you can think of that you know has a pretty strong fan base, but you don't really know their music like that because you're the top of the funnel for them. This system could be a strong foundation for you. And if you follow the criteria and follow these instructions and you're not finding any kind of progress, then the content probably needs to improve. Whether that means your music isn't good or whether that means the quality of the audio and videos is just straight up messed up, you'll have to figure that out. But there's no way you shouldn't find some progress, even if it's not as fast as other people. Now, again, this was just one of five cheap growth strategies to build a music fan base. The rest of that guide is in the link in the description below. Go ahead and have at it. We'd love to know you guys' thoughts on it when you get a chance to go through it. Go ahead and hit me up at BrandManShawn on Instagram to give me your thoughts. Other than that, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe.